countries where you really don't understand or really don't hear what they mean, but mm. it's like they're already done with the conversation. So the <laughs> only thing you can do is, yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> you really know, you, you know, you, you, you don't understand. You didn't hear anything. <laughs> but just to study outside of Ghana, I want to study in the US, and that is it. Yeah, they don't say anything again until the next year. They're like, oh, I confronted you, you said nothing. But come on, if you really want to do this, find a way. Let's let's talk about it. Yeah. If you want to level up, come move out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Come to the US, go to the UK, Canada. You know, we have schools out there. What this does is that you always remind them that Yeah, you always need to remind your audience that you are teaching this thing. Yeah. So that's good. <laughs> so I'm having a conversation with you <laughs> had a conversation about the your graduate assistantship teaching assistantship and you told us about um, you being in charge of one or two you know and gears and all that and now you're mm. a teaching assistant right mm. yeah um so now i want to make this conversation very short so you tell us about some of the cultural shocks um, I had a conversation with Eric. Eric, <laughs> mm-hmm. I asked him if he he had a problem with you know teaching you know these kids the accent problem you know that you face. You say something and they are confused. What is this? You all speak English, but Charlie, you understand your English. You know, the tonation is different. You know. Yeah. Yeah. He told me how he he. He changes or he navigates all these things, how he comes up with new ideas. So he tries to always inculcate um a certain a particular you know method in his teachings where he normally you know um projects whatever he's, he's about to talk about, whatever he sees, he's ready to talk about or he's ready to teach the class. Maybe if it's projected, yeah, you know, they know that, okay, this is what I'm coming That's to teach cool. you guys. So if I miss something in my, you know, um, submission, you can just look at these things. And even if you are, you are not convinced or you are still in success and service, you can come and meet me after class, yeah. office hours and all, all those things. So how do you go about yours? Tell us about it. Um, yeah, of course, if you move to a different country or you move to a different space, geographical location, definitely yeah. you are going to experience um, one or two cultural shocks that um, you just need to adjust to them day by day to, you know. Yeah, so um, I've had language, I've had um, food, I've had um, the whole environment okay mm. when I talk the whole environment I'm talking of um how things do go about mm. kind of like personal spaces with people um mm. uh, moving from one place to another kind of like a journey um, mm. if you want to move from point A to point B how you move from point A to point B all that yeah has been a cultural shock to me um accents wise language of course like you mentioned we are all speaking english but of course the mm-hmm. accent makes that difference but yeah yeah situations do arise where you really don't understand or really don't hear what they mean but mm-hmm. it's like they're already done with the conversation so then <laughs> the only thing can do is, yeah 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 and <laughs> you really know you, you know you, you you don't understand you didn't hear anything <laughs> But just, yeah, yeah, you smile yeah, and then yeah, you go. Exactly. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> if, if I speak and they don't get me, mm. I could tell from their facial expression. Mm. Yeah, you can tell right from their face. Yeah. Because if they are talking about something that is supposed to be funny and mm. you realize that you don't give them the same energy, mm. you're going to see that they, f- they don't frown, but then the whole smile just shrinks. Then mm. you can realize that no, they didn't understand what I meant. Yeah. And then if you want to go further to explain, then mm. fine. Yeah. So I've had situations whereby I speak one, two, and I realize that the people don't understand. And 
if they also don't understand what they do is they just say mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you can tell you can tell that this yeah you can relate so that is why you're laughing yeah the they, that you can tell that they don't understand yeah. what coming from and then you yeah. just have to probably elaborate more yeah mm. so we've had language you've had um things that has to do with um yeah people people do talk about um racism and all that yeah of course you have that in some countries but mm. in uh school environments um sometimes we just psych our mind that that is what some people are trying to do but mm. in actual sense maybe they are not trying to do that yeah, yeah, sometimes they know really that they are doing that. Other times, mm. so the best thing is to just ignore. You know, yeah. if you look at this person as kind of as such, just ignore that person. Yeah, mm. but do what you can. Okay, don't have it at the back of your mind that everybody is racial. No, that is mm. that is the terrible and the wrong move to ever do. Yeah, yeah. So many nice people over there. So many many nice people over there. Yeah, the fact that they don't agree with you on some things does not mean that they are being racial to you. So the mm. moment you psych your mind that these people are being racial to me, you can't achieve anything. Your mind is going to be messed up. So just be open-minded. Even if they are giving you that energy, just find the best way to, you know, control yourself and just make things work for yourself, you know. Yeah, just, and then you flow. Um Culture socks, food, and all that. Yeah, of course, we Ghanaians or Africans do ha- like a lot of spices and all that, but we don't get that over here. Yeah, it's not too spicy, and you really want something spicy to eat, and it's kind of too sugary and all that. Yeah, you just have to go with the flow. So we've had, I've had cultural shock that has to do with language. I've had cultural shock that has to do with um, food, um, um you know, human and then animal relationship and a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> right, right, right. So um, normally I ask people the, this question and um, that's at the latter part of my conversation. This is mm. what I always ask people. Would you advise anyone to attend grad school in the US abroad, in the US, Europe, anywhere? Would you advise maybe you know, I'm from maybe Africa, let's say Africa, mm. to attend grad school in um Europe or uh, yeah. Yeah, that that's that's a valid question. Um it depends on what the person wants to do. If you really want to go into much climb up the ladder in education, then fine, yeah, grad school is for you. Some people, when they are done, they want to go into the field and then work. Fine, people do excel in that hundred percent. Nobody's you know, fighting you over that. So if you want to go into that field, fine. If you want to go into education, you want to climb up the ladder in level in terms of education, yeah, then that is when the grad school comes in. Mm. Now, where do you do it? Do you want to do it back in Ghana? Do you want to do it outside of Ghana and all that? That is also a decision you want to make. But then mm. if you do your grad school, you have your grad education outside, um, abroad, um, USA, because I'm in USA, let me, let me specific, USA to be specific. Um, mm. Yeah, you, you're you doing yourself a lot of good. Yeah, mm. I'm not saying if you do it in Ghana, you're not going to excel. Of course, we have people that have not stepped out of Ghana, but mm. trust me, they are doing extraordinary, you know. But if you want to level up, come move out of your comfort zone. Yeah, come to the US, go to the UK, Canada. You know, we have schools out there. What this does is that it opens your mind to a lot of things, okay? Because like we've already talked about language barriers, food, um, it's an eye opener, okay? You learn how to relate with people from different backgrounds. Yeah, if you are doing your education outside of Ghana in the US, you are going to meet people from different countries, not just Ghana, not just US different countries and you have to find a way to tolerate all those people yeah the future is made in such a way that you are going to work with a lot of people from different backgrounds so this is like a stepping stone for you to know how to relate with people from different walks of life and then i mean it's a blessing and you also know how to um interact with people knowledgeable people from different walks of life like i've talked about already so yeah, I'll advise everybody 100%. If you want to 
do your education abroad? Yeah, 100%. Go for it. If you want to do it in Ghana, praise the Lord. Nobody's stopping you. Yeah, but if you want to go abroad, go for it. Yeah, that it's a move that you shouldn't back out from, you know. Yeah, go for it. If you have to seek counsel from anybody, friends, family, people that have done it before, yeah, ask them. Sometimes what people do is they they, they bring the the war to your front and they tell you that oh i want to study outside of ghana i want to study in the u.s and that is it yeah they don't say anything again until the next year they're like oh i confronted you you said nothing but come on if you really want to do this find a way let's let's talk about it yeah what schools have you looked out for what um people have you reached out to have you made any research even in the field that you want to study you know, people don't know any of this. They just come, they want to study outside and they don't even know the program that they want to go and read. Yeah. And it's frustrating because now you have to go and do their homework for them. And that is not how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Let's work hand in hand and then seek the people that can help you and they will direct you on how to do it. Yeah. Because we all didn't come here on our own. You know, it's someone that is going to help you definitely, but make it fluid for the person to also have their way to interact with you. Yeah, that's that is what I can say. Nice, 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 nice. I'm still having a conversation with him. I know. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I think it's I think grand... the, the um the works that you've done with some radio stations and TV stations is having a lot of influence. Ah. On <laughs> I know, right? Having that's a lot of influence. I always remind them that Charlie. Yeah, you always need to remind you. your audience that yeah. you are speaking to this person. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm having a conversation with Emmanuel Bede, and Emmanuel Bede is a graduate in at the Ohio University. Sorry, Ohio University. And I must say that. Um, when I was also applying, Emmanuel mm -hmm. held me. Um, he held me to pay my my service fee. You know. Oh really? I, I didn't know me. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to say <laughs> that. I don't remember. <laughs> my money through Eric. Emmanuel, you know, make sure that yeah, selling must pay service fee. Mm -hmm. Selling must must be good, so that he can he can come he can further his education. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful yeah, for everything, you. Charlie. Yeah. And one thing that's the last thing is, do you miss Ghana? And if you miss Ghana, what do you miss? <laughs> of course, I miss Ghana. Of course. Uh -huh. Of course, uh -huh. I miss Ghana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I miss everything. Yeah, yeah. Of course, even, even the film that I made recently, um, mm. a, uh, yep, my semester project film was about Ghana. It was about an international student by mm. here. He's from Ghana and blah, blah, blah. Just kind of like mm. tapping my own experience and yeah. other experiences of other people. Yeah, and that is just to serve as um, a guideline to people to just know that, yeah, home is very important. I saw something mm. on your post recently that says that you don't find the importance of family except you travel, you know? Mm. And that is mm. true. We miss, yeah. we miss family, we miss friends, we miss yeah. the whole atmosphere. This mm. U.S. is so packed with mm. everything. You know, time is not on your side. Yeah. So before you could even get someone, you have to set an appointment. You have to, mm. can we mm. meet and all that? Yeah, back in Ghana, come on. You just Charlie. trip into the house and then, Charlie. you know, food is also ready and all that. Charlie. You know, all those things, we miss them. Yeah, we miss yeah. Yeah. friends, we miss family, we miss food, we miss mm. that community, that sense mm. of engagement, you know. We miss mm. all of it. So, yeah. Of course, I miss Ghana 100%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All too soon, we've come to the end mm. of the conversation. Um, It's been insightful. I've learned a lot and all that. I hope I've satisfied your curiosity. Um, Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell. Make sure you're always here. Thank you for watching. I am Sel Nofori studying at the Minnesota State University. And I had a conversation with Iman Ogbede, who is at the Ohio University. Catch now you next time. You Pardon? What program yeah, 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 yeah. MFA in acting. Yeah, MFA in acting. So yeah, I'm also a graduate student. Yep. <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> Always be on my channel because, yeah. I have a lot to, to give you guys. Um, I'll be having conversations with 
different people in different schools. So please stick and stay. Bye-bye. <laughs>